mad. How can one say I am mad? Of course nervous, but definitely not mad. My disease has actually sharpened my senses, especially my hearing, but you still think me mad? What foolishness! Will you just see how healthy and calm as I tell you the whole story? I can't say how the idea first entered my brain, but once it was there, I couldn't shake it. I did not want his gold. Uh, no thank you. I think it was his eye. The eye gave me such fear for it made me want to kill the old man and rid my life of the eye forever. Yes, you're probably still thinking I am mad, killing someone because his eye slightly vexed me. But just listen, tell me how wisely I proceed. Never was I as kind to anyone as I was to the old man during the week before his demise. Oh, you look lovely today, old man. Thank you. Into every night at midnight, for seven nights, I would slowly open the door to his chamber, just enough to see if the old man's eye was open. Next, I would shine a light from a lantern, just enough to see clearly, but never was at the right time. But oh, the eighth of the night was different. My luck was not to be found. As I opened the door, I had made a sound with my lantern. <coughs> Who's there? I kept quite still, then waiting. I knew that the man was still sitting there. Though he couldn't see nor hear me, I could hear him groan in sheer terror, as if he could sense my presence. It is merely the wind in the chimney. It is nearly a mouse on the floor. It is nothing but a cricket who has made a chirp. His attempts to calm himself were all in vain, for of course, whether he knew or not, death was coming. It seemed as he thought he neither saw nor heard me any longer. He could sense my presence. Finally, I decided to open my lantern just a little, even though I knew he was still up. It was wide open. The sight of it infuriated me as I sat there staring at the darn die because you hear a sound that had become familiar to me. It was the sound of the old man's beating heart. I sat there for many more minutes, listening to the old man's heart grow louder and faster, than it, and as the extreme terror grew, suddenly a new terror filled me it threw that the neighbors would hear the heartbeat, and so I decided the old man's time had come. I had waited for the old man's heartbeat to completely cease. I knew the deed was done. The old man was no more. I moved the bread carefully and examined the corpse. <sighs> Definitely dead. His eye will trouble me more, no more. I should get rid of the body. Once I had finally gotten her into the bathtub, it was finally time to dismember her body parts. Haha, <laughs> 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 ha, what a wonder I have done! No one will ever find her! gentlemen, and good morning to you. You too. We got a call from a neighbor this morning telling of a shrieking heard from this house. She suspected foul play was involved. We were sent to search the premises, if you don't mind. Oh, of course, of course. But you're mistaken. The shriek was of my, of my own. I was having an awful nightmare. Do you live here? No. The old man who lives here is out of the town visiting family. You can have a tour of my house. You said it wasn't your house. Oh, I just live here. I'm sorry. I'm so used to saying it's my house. Oh, okay. Let's go back downstairs. <laughs> nice house. Thank you. May we please see the old man?
men's chamber? Yes, of course. Here it is in all of its prized possessions. I see. Very nice. Obviously no one was murdered, dismembered, and shoved under a carpet here. I think our search is over. Now that you fine gentlemen are over with your search, would you like some tea? That would be very nice. my tea in the fine company of the fine gentleman, I started to hear something from underneath the floorboards. Do you people hear that noise? What noise? The horrid beating noise from the floorboards going louder and louder by the minute. I hear no such noise. May I have some more tea? Yes, here you go. I began talking at high speed with I shouted, oh please be gone! But the noise kept getting louder. It was the old man's heartbeats. Somehow it was still beating. Finally, the sun got to me. I couldn't take it any longer. I shouted, I did it! I did it! I murdered the old man! Oh please stop the shirt noise! Oh good please! 